Hi guys, I'm Mr. Bow, and in today's Destiny video we're going to be taking a look at a brand new exotic weapon we're going to be able to get in the Taken King. So this is the Sleeper Stimulant. It's an exotic we've known about for a while and if you are getting the collector's edition of the Taken King you'll actually get a schematic of this weapon which you can put up on your wall. Now over on Game Informer they actually showed gameplay of this, they showed a 30 second clip of this weapon without any perks upgraded, so just the base weapon. So if you guys want to go check out the gameplay or the full article I will leave a link in in the description below. So what exactly is the sleeper stimulant? Well they say this, the sleeper stimulant is a fusion rifle that will sit within your heavy weapon slot so you know it packs a punch since it needs to compete with weapons like rocket launchers and machine guns for your attention and use. Unlike most fusion rifles, its charged up blast can penetrate through multiple enemies and will ricochet off walls up to five times when fully upgraded. Think handheld railgun and you're on the right track. And that's all well and good but how do you actually get this weapon when you've got the Taken King? Well, unlike most weapons, you're actually going to have to go along a quest line for this and you're not going to be able to get this randomly like most exotics. So in order to unlock the gun, players first have to collect relics of the golden age which have been scattered across the various locations on Destiny. After players bring these pieces back to the gunsmith, Banshee44, the ancient artifacts trigger a memory in the ancient Exo gunsmith and he will invite players on an odyssey to repair and reactivate one of the Taken King's most striking exotics. They say that Bun Bungie doesn't want to spoil the story content of this mission, but they did say that there will be unique tasks and objectives required for completion, which might even include puzzles that are too hard for any one player to figure out on their own. Not only is this one of the most striking exotics in Destiny, but you're also going to have to go along this special quest for the gunsmith in order to get this weapon, and it might even require you to get a fire team and do certain things. Now not only that, we also get a look at the upgrade path for the sleeper stimulant, and how exactly you're going to be able to upgrade this weapon weapon over time in order to get the most out of it. So the sleeper stimulant has an intrinsic property that is unlocked immediately upon acquisition, helping to make it stand out from the start. The intrinsic property is projectiles over penetrate enemies and will ricochet once. Projectiles are capable of dealing precision damage. So that's kind of cool to see that it starts off with a perk already there for you. Moving on we have the barrel column upgrades and that includes CQB ballistics for bonus stability. Linear Compensator, bonus to range, straighter recoil, bonus to impact and reduced stability. Accurized Ballistics, bonus to range, bonus to impact, better target acquisition and reduced stability. For the support perk we have just a scratch. Reduces aim deflection on incoming rounds while you're aiming the weapon. Helps the wielder stay on target during the long charge ups. For the stat upgrades we have speed reload, faster reload speed, perfect balance, better stability and single point sling. Ready the weapon faster and faster move speed while aiming. And then finally the exotic perk. Now they haven't decided on a name yet so we don't have that and what it does is it increases the bounce count of your projectile to 5. So those are all the perks for the sleeper stimulant and that is all we know about this heavy weapon fusion rifle at the moment. Again if you guys want to go read the full article where there's talk from Bungie about how they designed this weapon and more stuff like that then you can click the link in the description below and that will take you to the article. There's a lot to read up on and as I said before there is a 30 second game clip someone using this weapon without any upgrades upgrades on it. So what do I think of this weapon? Well I think it's really cool to see a fusion rifle in the heavy slot and I do like the fact that this is kind of like a railgun. It's nice to see different variety of weapons. The look of this weapon has got to be one of the top nicest exotic looking weapons I've actually seen. Hopefully Bungie continues the look of exotics like this with the Taken King and hopefully we get to see some of those very soon. I think the thing that excites me most about this weapon is the fact that you have to go on this quest. You have to find all these different items scattered throughout the different locations of Destiny, gather them up, take them to the gunsmith and then that leads you on more missions and quests in order to actually get this weapon. I think that's really cool and hopefully they do that with a lot more weapons and armor in the Taken King. So what do you guys think of this weapon? Do you like it? Do you like the list of perks? Do you like the look of the gun or is this not really your playstyle? Would you rather have an exotic in your secondary and your primary and not have a fusion rifle in your heavy weapon slot? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys missed my previous video in which I show you guys a map of the Dreadnought and show you all the different locations located inside the Dreadnought then you can click the link on screen or in the description below. Feel free to give the like button a big old hug and subscribe for tons of more Destiny the Taken King content and coverage. You guys can follow me over on Twitter at I am Mr. Bo. Hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.